guys, Dr. Kyle here um, with Queen City Health Center. Hey, this is your Shift Your Thinking, Shift Your Health, every Monday, 12 o'clock, quick tip to health, okay? So still, we're, uh, we're gonna continue to go back to the immune response. One, because obviously it's, it's important for your health, but the times that we're in, a lot of people are worried about their immune system. We're also worried mostly about you know COVID and things like that. So what I want to focus on today is as we, I guess most states are now kind of pulling out of this lockdown mode, thank God, I feel like it should have been done years ago, but I'm glad it's actually, or one month ago, but I'm, sure, I'm glad it's actually happening. And so um, as you're doing that, a lot of people have asked me, well, what do I do to make sure that I don't get uh, any kind of viral infections or anything like that. And I would just tell you, it's the same thing that you would do before uh, COVID or any of these, any virus really. It's just what you do on a daily basis to be healthy. So, and that's what we're about is ultimately not just um, picking times to treat symptoms or to prevent certain viruses, but always just building health in your body. That's what's most important. So today I'm going to talk to you about the top five things that I would recommend for anyone to do when it comes to increasing their immune response. Okay. Hey, now, as we go along with this, Hey, if you like this and, and you're getting your benefit benefiting from it, please share it. Uh, I feel like there's a, a lot of miscommunication right now, or misinformation uh, when it comes to health, and a lot of people are very confused. And you know, I see people wearing masks everywhere and and not wanting to go outside. They're scared of it. And and what I'm going to teach you today is the truth about your health. I'm going to teach you some simple steps you can take to be healthy in terms of an immune response. So everyone needs to understand this. And these are very simple. No side effects, super simple stuff, okay? So number one thing, let's start out with number one is, and this is gonna probably seem over simple, but it is actually one of the most important things you can do, and it is get outside, okay? Get out of your house. The house is, it is I'm sorry, indoors is way more toxic than the outdoors, meaning your body, toxins, your immune response has to get rid of this chemicals that go into your body. So your whole body is going to be more stressed indoors than it is going to be outdoors. Plus you have the sun, which is producing vitamin D in your body when you actually let it absorb. So don't put sunscreen on right away. Don't wear a ton of clothes. Get out there. If you can't expose some skin to the sun, let your body absorb vitamin D and spend some time outdoors, deep breathing. Do four, seven, eight breathing outside with oxygen because oxygen is a key to our health, okay? So make sure you're outside doing that. And also go barefooted, walk around in your grass. They have, it's a concept called grounding. And this is one of my favorite things to do every morning. I walk outside, anytime I'll take my daughter Eleanor, we'll walk around in the grass barefooted. And even when it's cold outside, it's even better because it kind of wakes you up. But that barefoot concept helps the energy of the earth get into your body. They call it grounding. So you can research grounding, but very, very healthy for your body. So spend as much time as you can outside. When it comes to viruses, again, there's 300,000 plus viruses just on mammals. They're always around. So I wouldn't be too afraid of them. But specifically with the coronavirus, they have talked about how being outdoors in the sun for a period of time can actually kill the coronavirus. So it's actually good for your health in terms of viral health as well. So number one, get outside. Number two, and I always talk about this guy, apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna put apple cider V, or uh, yeah, apple cider vinegar to put on your skin though, not just necessarily just to drink. Absolutely take a teaspoon or tablespoon of that to drink daily. And what that will do is help your stomach acid, which is your first line of defense in terms of, uh, in, or not first line, but as part of your major defense system, in your digestive system. It helps break down proteins like viruses. If you don't have enough stomach acid, that's a, many times can cause infections in your body. So he drinks the apple cider vinegar, but I talked about this on the immune response video that I did two weeks ago. Go back on my Facebook, look, up, look at the immune response video, and I taught about how your skin is actually your first line defense. It's your innate immune response. And the acidity of your skin is very important when it comes to microbials uh, that you don't want into your body, in your body. Having good bacteria in your skin is very important and the acidity of your skin is very important. So you can actually use apple cider vinegar on your hands to increase acidity, which again, acid breaks down protein. We talk about when you cook food, you use acid to tenderize meats. You use acid to break down your vegetables. That's what you're using when you're using certain vinegar-based uh, salad dressings. That helps break down the food for you. So the same thing, apple cider vinegar, Will help break down viral uh, uh, proteins that are on your skin because again the virus isn't dead you didn't hear isn't alive you didn't hear me say i kill a virus it's breaking down the viral protein because the virus is simply just a protein with an amino uh, uh, nucleic acid 
I'm going to try to follow my order here. Number three, I'm going to switch it up. Hey, guys, you notice we got red, white, and blue? A little America pride right now. That's what we need is we need to connect together. That's my tip without being a tip on here. Start connecting with people. America is an amazing country. We have freedom. Start using those freedoms to connect with people and simply not just trying to avoid people because they have a mask on. Try to connect with people. That's the number one thing you can do for your health, by the way. So, side note, apple cider vinegar, and then you're going to always guess, remove or decrease sugar in your environment, in your body, is reduce the refined sugars, stay away from the sodas, stay away from the things like Mountain Dews. I see people leaving stores with a Mountain Dew in their hand and a mask on. Come on guys, think, think clearly for a moment, is that mask isn't gonna keep you healthy and that Mountain Dew is gonna ruin your health. Actually, the mask is gonna ruin your health too because you're not getting enough oxygen. That's a side note, we're not gonna talk about masks today. But reduce sugar in your diet. If you really care about this, not getting this coronavirus, then you're going to keep your body healthy and sugar will kill your immune response. Number three, number four here is going to be, this is a supplement people you, uh, you guys can take called um, astragalus, it's a herb, it's called astragalus. It's amazing for your immune response. It's actually really good for anti-aging effect as well because it helps telomeres shorten telomere and strengthen telomeres, um, which actually allows your skin to be healthier. So we're gonna go with astragalus, okay, oops. Astragalus and astragalus. I'm sorry, I always say it wrong. Astragalus and ashwagandha. Hopefully this won't leave my screen as I try to write it here. So astragalus, astragalus, and ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an amazing adaptogen, great for your uh, helping your cortisol levels or help your adrenals uh, adapt to its environment, which will help your immune response. Because again, if you're in a fight or flight mode or stress out, you're going to have a lower immune response just naturally. That's how physiology works. So if you can take something that will help your body and your immune response, hey, that's that's probably the, one of the easiest things you can actually do. Yesterday, by the way, we did a, a cool little uh, shout out, I guess, to moms, and we did a giveaway for Mother's Day, and we were giving away, I think I actually have a bottle of this, I don't think I know, but a bottle of this in my pocket. And I walk around with ashwagandha in my pocket. I got ashwagandha right here, and we're gonna give this bottle away to the person that we picked from all the people that shared, liked, and uh, put someone's name on the comments of the video that we did yesterday with my wife. So you can go check that video out, but we're giving this bottle away. Who is the uh, the winner again? She's gonna get back to me, I forgot who, I forgot who it was. Oh, is, yeah, you'll tell me, okay. So we'll get back to that here in a second. But ashwagandha is awesome, and same with astragalus. Final tip here, and then I'm coming back to the winner, so stay tuned for the winner. The final tip here is my favorite chiropractic care. What the heck does chiropractic care have to do with your immune response? Well, the only thing it really has to do with your immune response is that it helps your nervous system health. And it does that by helping spinal health and your body adapt to stress. When we adjust, proprioceptive movement into your spine has been one of the top things that, that's been researched to show it helps your immune response, okay? And as it helps your immune response, you're gonna be healthier. So chiropractic care increase, helps increase CD4 count, CD8 count. It's one of the most effective things you can do. So get back out, get to, your doc, get to your chiropractor that you go to on a regular basis. I know some people haven't been going in because they're worried about viral infections, but if you really understood what chiropractic was doing for, me, for you and for your health, that would be the number one place you would have been this whole time. And what we've seen in our clinics is ex, and, and, um, and, and a good percentage of patients actually have come in more because of this because they want to be healthy in a strong immune response. All right, we got it. Anna, cool. Anna and Sinius got the ashwagandha. Hopefully you're watching. If you're, if you're on here, hey, put a comment. If not, we'll make sure we get this to you anyways. But uh, good job. Thanks for sharing it. Hey, guys, that's it right there. Get outside apple cider vinegar, sugar, uh, decrease your sugar intake, and I say that's a huge one. Take astragalus, take ashwagandha, take, get chiropractic care, and that right there is gonna make a huge difference in your immune response because it's gonna help your body adapt to stress. It's gonna help your overall health in general. So, hey guys, I hope you love this, and uh, like it, love it, share it, connect someone, put someone's name down in the comments so you can actually um, help other people. Remember, 
Becoming your own, health, your own health expert, one of the best things you can do to become your own health expert is to teach other people. When you start teaching other people the stuff that you're learning, you start to take ownership of it and it just becomes a part of your life. I learned most of what I've learned not through going to school. I learned it from reading and teaching other people about it. And then from there, I started to become my own health expert and that was years ago and I am where I am today. And so that's the that same thing can happen from you. We have tons of patients that are moms and they just start learning this stuff and now they're teaching other moms and they're becoming that health expert in their circle and it's making a big difference for people's health. That's how we make a transformation in our health. Cool? Hey guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching this. You guys have an awesome day and we'll talk to you on Thursday.